So I'm going to take you over now, show you this drawer, which is an absolute mess, show you where some of the other bits and pieces are, and hopefully we can get it organised into this and make some sense of the chaos. <laughs> Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am going to share with you my jewellery collection while I try and organise my jewellery collection. At the minute I do have a drawer, quite a large drawer with sections off for jewellery and it's all just thrown in there on top of each other. There's no organisation that drives me nuts. I, I really need to get it organised. So I'm going to share with you organising my jewellery collection. I'm going to show you my jewellery collection as we do that. And I'm also going to share with you organising this little beauty, which is my Louis Vuitton trunk. This is the Louis Vuitton trunk that I ordered and was hand painted for my 40th birthday. I went for the trunk though that is the coffee coffee tresor coffee I'm not going to say that correctly but it's not the actual jewelry box the reason I went for this one is because it's the rectangle shape and I prefer the rectangle shape to the square the one that is the jewelry box is a square but it comes with all of the inserts that you would need to organize your jewelry and that might have made sense because it would be usable as a jewelry box but I just I preferred the rectangle to the square so I have ordered these from Amazon these are stackers I will link them down below if as we go through this we find that they are useful and my thinking for this is I'm going to order the pieces to make my rectangle trunk India jewellery box and I'm going to show you what I put in there and how I do that as well and whether or not these work to bring life to that so as it can be used for it without investing in the square one because I don't know what it is that I just preferred this shape. So let's get into it. I'm going to spin you around and show you the drawer and show you what we're going through. I am wearing my daily jewellery at the minute and this is what I wear most days. I have on this ideal solo necklace which actually now this is not sponsored but this is just good timing because ideal have just reactivated my discount code so i will leave a link in the description box to ideal so you can have a look at their diamonds they are very reasonably priced they're beautiful beautiful diamonds i wear these and these i'll show you those those are my everyday earrings and i have a code amelia rose 10 which i will put on the screen and put in the description box down below and if you click the link down below as i say not sponsored but use the code you'll get 10% off your order anything that you're looking so I just wanted to share that with you because it's not sponsored but it is an opportunity if you're looking to invest in any of ideals diamonds that you will get 10% off your order so I wear this and this is currently on the shortest setting this is the solo three necklace and then I wear the Louis Vuitton volt necklace below it and I wear these generally every day I did whenever I first got them sleep in them but I woke up and the two necklaces were completely wound around each other and they would be quite tangled. If you have any tips for that not to happen, please leave them for me in the description box. I would be more than keen to know. So I generally take this one off at night and then add that back on in the morning just because it's the shorter of the two and keep the Louis Vuitton Volt on. The Louis Vuitton Volt is what I bought whenever my pochette Matisse was faulty and it had to go back whenever the glazing cracked and I exchanged it towards this and I absolutely love this. I wear this with this every day and then I have a, a blue stone that I'll show you that I wear down below if I'm if I'm dressing and having all three. I then wear these nearly every day. This is the Ideal Cuff. This is the Lucia. This is probably my favourite piece that I got from Ideal and it goes on the back. This is one of the Ideal studs that you can buy these separately. So you can buy this little cuff and put it with one of your own studs and you just get this look. I wear this nearly every day because where I work is quite conservative and quite corporate. So this isn't too funky. I'm going to show you some of my earrings. And if we go to the Dior bright pink ones that I just bought, I couldn't be wearing them every day. So these work for me. I used to just wear diamond studs every day. Now that I have these pieces for my deal, I think it just adds a little bit more interest to the stud. And I feel like it's a li little bit more fashion forward and a little bit more statement rather than just the stud. So I, I wear these near enough every day. I also wear them out as well. But And you saw me in the Paris vlog. I wore these a lot. I find these very easy to wear. So this is the Lucia stud and this is one of the ideal... Oh, the Lucia cuff, sorry, and one of the ideal studs. This one 
is my own stud and it's these studs, this one in the middle. I used to wear my, I obviously have another one of those, I have a pair, but I used to wear those plain studs in my ears basically every day and it's those that I've added these two onto. Now some days I will wear this one with my own stud, some days I will wear the ideal stud to be quite honest it can sometimes be whichever one I pick up first is what one I put in so I will wear both of those with that regularly and then I wear this little ideal piece the curved piece that gives it the decoration on the ear is the added on to the stud and I just think that's fab that's basically my everyday earrings then we get to my rings and these are my everyday these Every single day these don't, they come off at night because my fingers seem to swell during the night but I put these back on every day. So this one is a diamond band which is diamonds the whole way around and it is my eternity ring. This ring at the top which I'll show you and this one I will swap out between my fingers. I sometimes I'll wear this one with the stack and sometimes I'll swap them out but this one was my I, my eternity ring and I got this whenever we had our first son. It's not branded so it's not Cartier or Tiffany or anything. It's from a local jeweler who I, I really like their stuff. I think their jewelry is very very high quality. I think those studs are from there. Nearly all, all of this is probably from the same jeweler and I really, really like them. So this is a Diamond Eternity band that I wear every single day and I absolutely love it. It has right the way around. And then if we go to my stack, on the other hand, my wedding ring is on the bottom. I'll spin this, these round to give you a better look. So my wedding ring is on the bottom. That's the diamond half band that's on the bottom here. That is my wedding band and that is engraved on the inside with the date of our wedding. And then this one is my engagement ring, which I obviously wear in the middle. And then the top ring is actually the ring I got for my 40th birthday from my husband and my children. It's a stunner. I absolutely love it. But I have taken to regularly wearing it now at the top of this stack. I really like those three together. I think it's quite beautiful and I feel very fortunate and lucky to have this on this hand. So that is my stack and these are my everyday rings, earrings, jewellery situation. This is what you would see me on a daily basis with. Now I do have on my wish list a ring for this finger and I will show you some of the rings as we go through that I will wear on this finger. I did have an Hermes ring on my wish list for this finger but my essay has told me that it's completely sold out I'm not going to get it I also really like the Coco Crush the gold with the little diamonds in it for this ring but as of yet none of those have came and I will show you when I'm showing you the rest of my jewelry now what can go on this ring the only part of my jewelry collection I'm not going to show in this video I'll show bits as we go but I'm not going to go through the whole collection is my Pandora jewelry because I have quite a lot of Pandora jewelry that's another video that has been requested to do a Pandora collection so if that's something Something you would be interested in let me know and I will do a collection of all of my Pandora jewellery video. I have quite a bit of it. It's a lot of the charms are very very sentimental and I can take you through that but I'll show you a bit of it as we go. So I'm going to take you over now, show you this drawer which is an absolute mess, show you where some of the other bits and pieces are and hopefully we can get it organised into this and make some sense of the chaos. Okay so this is basically my jewellery at the minute. Isn't it an absolute disgrace? Everything is just, you can see that I literally just take things off and throw them back in, which is really, really bad. I need to get this organized, so that's what we're going so to do. I'm going now. to take all of this out. I'm going to show you the memorable pieces as we go. This is all old costume jewelry. I'm probably not going to go through all of that with you, but I'll show you the bits in here that are good to see. And then we'll also get those little stacker bits into the trunk here and see if we can get this organized. I also have a lot of necklaces hanging on my mirror over there, but they'll probably stay because they're very long ones that are more pendants that maybe might not work in a drawer but let's see how we get so on. What the trunk comes with on its own is this little piece that you can set on top and it is then one empty space really and this little key comes with it if you wish to lock your trunk. So I bought these two from Amazon that are pretty close and they fit in there so I'm hoping to add those in and give a little bit of organisation and use that as well and then I have this little piece that my brother bought me at Christmas and I have some of my more 
costumey pieces, although one of my studs is in there and that's the other ideal stud that goes with what's in my ears. So we're going to get all of this out and get some organisation and show you the fun bits. Okay, everything's out and a little bit more manageable now that I can see everything. This whole pile in the back here, these were all empty boxes or empty pouches. Now I appreciate that they're very handy whenever you're going away to take something with you, but I don't think I needed all of those three rows in here, taking up the space and making it more messy. So I'm gonna start with this and I am gonna start putting my bracelets and bangles on this. You can see here the little pile of Hermes bangles and these are mostly Pandora. So I'm gonna put these on here. If I don't have a huge fine jewelry collection, so you're not gonna see lots of Cartier or Van Cleef or anything, I don't have that. Um, and I'm going to show you what I do have, but we'll put these on here and start with there. So that's perfect, that is I have five Hermes bracelets and these two are Pandora at the end and that's them on that little stacker from Amazon and they sit in there perfectly and I'm going to do this one beside it I think with earrings or rings and then see what we can do here and make better space of that and I like that I think that now just sitting open that would please me a lot more than it not being used even clothes because I could put the little layer on top that I currently have all these Chanel brooches sitting on um, but good start Brilliant. I have all of my earrings in this. Obviously I have the earrings that are in my ears but there's plenty of spaces that I could set them in. That's the other studs that go with what's there. And then I have the two other little pieces from my deal that add on. There's the spare one. So there's plenty of space to set those in. That is perfect. I don't have, I know I have a lot of handbags but I don't have huge huge jewelry collections. So that is enough space and perfect. It fits right in there. So there's now a little bit of organisation in there and I have the space down here so I could, if I would add more earrings or anything, there is a pair of tribals with the chains which I absolutely love. I could put down the side, there's still room. So we're doing really well, good start. I actually keep in the space beside here are these. This was my mom's ring and she gave it to me on my 40th. And this one was my granny's engagement ring and wedding ring. So these mean a huge amount to me. I don't think as in financial value it's a huge amount, but sentimental value. So I think I will put both of them in this space and keep them safe in here. And then I will know where they are. There's actually another, where is it? This, so this needs to be kept. This was my granny's locket that she wore. It says love from mum and dad, 1946 from mum and dad, 1945 or six. That is my granny's, her initials are on there. One of them is an R for Rose and that's where the Rose comes from in my name. And that has to be, that's very, very important to me. She wore that always i don't again not financial value but that's not what really matters to me with these things it's sentimental she wore that always so i'm probably going to put that in this corner as well just to keep it safe there we go perfect and what a beautiful use for this rather than it sitting holding documents or not holding anything now i can lift it over in front of me whenever i'm getting ready and i can pick from my costume and does contemporary jewelry here these probably won't be worn so much but it's just making me happy. And then resting above all of those just to stop them getting tangled. I'm going to lay the little piece that came with it. And we have, this is Mavery. This is Lynx of London. That represents my two children. This is Soru, which is very cool, I think. This is RAI, Rise Above It jewellery. This is Mavery again. And this is Pandora. So they will all sit on top of the jewellery that we've just looked at underneath perfectly, stop them from tangling. And now they're all in here, which I just think is a much better use for that. And I'm happy. And now if I finish off this, I'm hoping that leaves me, leaves me some space that I can put some of my spare SLGs in here as well. And it'll be far more organised. Okay, so spare SLGs in this corner. Lulu Guinness card holder, Dior, Recto Verso, the Victorine wallet, which I'm probably going to sell and let go, to be honest, because I just, I don't use it and it's like brand new. And then my bag charm will sit up in there nicely. And if I can keep that space for them, that would make me very happy. I'm going to keep this one box still in the box. It's a Pandora box. These are all spare Pandora charms. 
and this is one of my favourite Pandora bracelets at the minute. The rope one, one of my best friends bought me that for my birthday. And the little child, Gwenny will like him. That's a little child charm. So I've been wearing him and that one says best friends on it. So I will probably keep all of the charms in this box and put it into here. And this, who's coming to join us? Hello. This little brooch was my mum's when I was a child and it's as old as me and hold on baby and I actually wore that on my wedding bouquet that was clipped into the flowers. Oh wow that is awesome everybody it's have shadow. a look. It's shadow. Is that shadow? See? Shadow that is awesome well done. Can I close it? You can close it. Is this going down to daddy? I know, but you're not allowed to play with them because they're not toys, baby. And the king, and the king, and the king. This is mommy's jewellery, it's not toys. <laughs> now I put them back so mommy can finish. When I want to show can I like, have them? No, baby, they're mommy's charms, they're not toys. I have told you that more times than I can count. This is so much better and I am so much happier now that my Louis Vuitton trunk is actually being used for something properly. And in here is so much more organised. I can actually see my stuff. All of those were empty boxes and pouches that don't need to be in here. I won't throw them out because obviously there's jewellery boxes and if well, I don't really sell much, but I, I probably won't throw them out because I'm a hoarder but I don't need to have them in here. So we have spare SLGs here. We have my Pandora rope bracelet. If I could speak, I have the little brooch that was for my mum. Have this Louis Vuitton chain, which I love. I have this Mavery one. Then my Chanel brooches are here. My Chanel faux pearls are here. This is all of my Pandora charms. So whenever I'm putting on one of my Pandora bracelets, I can just reach this out and pick the charms. This is a coin my brother bought me for the year I turned 40. It's such a coin from the year I was born. Then my watches, most of those need batteries, costume jewelry in the back. Then the little ring pouch that my brother bought me or the little ring container is in here. I've put, I had a spare square. So these are some of my Louis Vuitton samples. I keep all these because I use mini bags. I like to put samples in my perf or perfume in my mini bags and these take up so little room. Then I have some of my bracelets. This little one is a remembrance bracelet for my dad. This one I got for my 30th. That one I got when my first son was born. That's actually the Savorsky bracelet I wore when I got married. The Dior one from Bestie. Then this has my son's initials and little boy on it. That's a special one. And my other Pandora bracelets down here, the bangles are in the trunk. So much better. That is it looking in much more organized that sits under my desk. Yes, I am so, so happy with that. On here to show, we have the Louis Vuitton trunk. Pop it open. And we have in here all of my chains, the shorter ones, just so they don't get tangled. And then underneath, we have the bangles, the earrings, and the special little pieces of jewelry that I told you about. And that is so easy now that I can just lift this out and everything will be in there. I am so happy that's a good afternoon's work. So pleased with that, a lot more organized. I'm really happy that the trunk is actually now being used for something purposeful. And that drawer is just so much easier to see. I can see what I have. I don't have a huge jewelry collection, but at least now I can see what I have and choose what I want to wear. I don't change for my daily jewelry that much unless I'm going out, but I am so happy that I can now see in there and see what's there and that trunk is not going to waste. Thank you so much for watching this. I will do the Pandora collection because I know that's being requested. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any other requests, leave them in the comment box. And again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.